So I've been having problems with my videos. Students have been complaining they've not been working out very well. So I'm going to try to keep this really short and see if that helps. There's a couple other things I can try. So um, nobody should be talking. Shh, it should be quiet now. So this is 8.5 and we're talking about finding the product of two fractions. The product, you know, finding the answer of two fractions that you would multiply together. Product is simply when you multiply two things together. That's uh, the answer is the product. That's what you would call it. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump to uh, the guided practice. Uh, what page is that? 341. Okay, so 351. All right, so 351, page 351. So, uh, um, gosh, I want to keep this short. I'm not going to worry about one. Um, you could do two. And as I mentioned earlier, when you see the word of, it's the same thing as multiplying. And so for number four here, it says find each product. So it's five ninths of or times one ninth. And so one times five, you guys should know how to multiply fractions by now. You just multiply straight across. One times five is five and nine times nine is 81. That can't be reduced. So you're done. So I'm not going to worry about uh, Three, five, seven, nine, six, eight, ten. So you just put a line through those. You don't have to do those. No big deal. Let's uh, let's look at the bottom of the page. The independent practice. I do want you guys to do those. And uh, you should remember that any time you see a problem with uh, parentheses, you always do. What's in the parentheses? I just heard somebody say it. Yeah, you do those first. What's in the parentheses first? So let's take a moment here. Let's look at number uh, number 25. And notice, this is important. Notice what's in the parentheses is not always the same. Sometimes you're adding. Sometimes you're subtracting. So make note of that. So for number 25, it looks like I'm adding one-third plus one-third. I don't even have to set it, that up vertically. The denominators are already the same. So I just add one plus one, which is two. And the denominator, again, stays the same. It's two-thirds. So then those, it's two-thirds, multiplied by one-half. So I can just do one-half here times <coughs> two-thirds. And again, you should know by now, you're just multiplying straight across. So 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. I'm not done, because that can be reduced. And that is, I heard somebody say it, 1 third. So the answer to number 25 is 1 third. OK? Next page. So, uh, gosh, in my other class, when I started to do this one, I, was, I did it wrong. I think it was uh, Miss Ruggerberg pointed out uh, I did it so fast. So it says, Eduardo runs six laps. And, and then he runs three and a half miles. And the question is, how far will he run in all? Show your work. Well, first off, um, let's just put three and a half over here. And then it says he runs six laps. Well, how far is one lap? You can see right there, it's a quarter mile. So you could look at it this way, one quarter plus 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 one quarter. Do I have that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's that going to be? Six fourths. Six fourths. So I can put three and one half, I'll put it right here, and I'm adding six fourths. Okay. Well, you still have to find a common denominator. Looks like it's going to be four. Two goes into four twice, times one is two. Four goes into four once, times six is six, six fourths. So what do we add up? We add up the numerators, two and six. What's that going to be? That's going to be eight. So 8 fourths, what's another way of saying 8 fourths? 
Yeah, it's two. So many of you recognize that. That's good. So two plus three is? Five. There's number 31 done for you. All right. So I want you to do 31. Uh, 32 to amend the U.S. So that's going to be... Um, you're going to multiply... 50 times 3 quarters. And then you're going to see if that is larger than 35 to answer the question. Miss Barclay's classroom, two-fifths of the students play chess. Of the students who play chess, five-six also play Sudoku. If there are 30 students in her class, how many play chess and Sudoku? So it's gonna, there's 30 students, so it's 2 fifths times 30. That's going to tell you how many play chess. That's a number that play chess. And then it's going to be 5 sixths times 30, and that's going to give you the number of students that play Sudoku. Five six times thirty. Oh, my bad. So maybe that's which is this. Of the students who play chess, five six also play. So when you figure out the number of students that play chess, whatever that number is, then you multiply that number. I'm going to put that number here. We don't know what it is. That number is going to be times um, 5 6. Okay. And, all right. <coughs> so, and that'll answer this question how many play chess and Sudoku? All right. Darn it, this video is longer than I wanted it to be, but hopefully I'm trying to. Have I been talking a little quieter? I'll need to talk a little quieter. So, anyways. 34, one sheet of stamps is shown at the right. Emma needs to buy 50 stamps to send out invitations for a graduation party. Will two sheets of stamps be enough? There's your question, and then how do you know? Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. So, yeah, I do want you guys to do 31, 32, 33, and 34, and then, of course, on the previous page, Um, I wanted you guys to do, you know, all of these here. Okay?